Hello again, so we have reached this exercise, so this exercise is a midterm a question, um, it's a bit uh, long to read, so you can pause now the video and read the text, and then uh, continue with me, however I will explain it quickly, so we have uh, an airport, we have a boarding desk, so we need to accept passengers in order to get them into the plane. So. We need uh, to, to, and we have two types of people, so we have uh, uh, handicaps and pregnant, so uh, the type of these persons are of type uh, A, uh, H, and other people are of type A, and in this uh, part, in the first part, we need to uh, serve these people using just one queue, so we have one line on the airport on the boarding desk, and however, when we, when uh, an handicapped or a pregnant woman arrive they will be served first and then we will proceed with the other people so we need to define what does it mean a passenger we need to define the struggle of a passenger and what what does it contains and then what's a counter and then we need to add a passenger to that line and to serve a passenger so let's take uh, an example here suppose that we have uh, four person a b c and d their names for example and then we have their type, so uh, this one is, is uh, indicated or, or uh, pregnant, normal people, pregnant and normal people for others. So, <coughs> so a, a, a boarding uh, desk, you can see it, so here the people, and here is the uh, reception, so we can see it as a queue, so people need to enqueue themselves in a queue in order to be uh, received by the people. So here we have two solutions. Either we can enqueue the people in order, and then we want, when we want to dequeue a person, we dequeue the priority one, the most priority one. So we will dequeue an element uh, and its type, <coughs> and then uh, if I want to dequeue, I will check in the queue for the first person having the edge type. Otherwise, another solution is to do that if I have the same person, A, B, C, D, with here H, A, H, A, while in queuing, I will in queue, for example, first the A, H, and then they will get B, so B, it will get after the H person, and then I will get C. So when I'm in queuing a person with H, I will in queue it here, and then I will in queue D here. So here we have two solutions. So either you stick to the first one or the second one. In both cases, uh, one of the operations is uh, easy. So uh, this one, you enqueue directly. So enqueuing, uh, so uh, adding a passenger, it returns just to enqueue the element. Uh, however, for dequeuing, for serving a passenger, it's more cumbersome and you need to check for the first edge. And the second solution, uh, the enqueuing is a bit cumbersome. It's a bit uh, tricky. However, while dequeuing, you just need to dequeue the first element. So you on the website on the solution here, you can find both solutions. I will stick uh, here uh, to the uh, second solution, so this one, because this one in the, in adding passenger it takes uh, more uh, explanation and stuff. So in the implementation, so I have here, I will go back up and tell you. So I have here made. Um, a small test function. So we have four passenger A, B, C, and D. So the same as I have mentioned here with the types H, A, H, A. I have add them to the uh, counter and then I have served them one by one. So first A would be served because it's the first person who came and it has the H type. So H is indicated or pregnant. And then we have C and then we have B and then we have D. So this is the output. This is the expected output. So, uh, let's go up. So, we will use a queue forcibly. A passenger is defined by two stuff. So, either a, a character P and type. You can use, for example, here a char name, a string of name and type. You can make it more elaborate. However, if you choose like this, uh, stuff like that, it's not very uh, difficult because you will keep the same queue because the queue is about an element and there is nothing cumbersome. It's just a test case that you need to. For example, str copy use the str copy function in order to fill uh, uh, a string. So, as for the queue, it remains the same. However, the element here is about a passenger. So, I have kept the same implementation of queue. I, I have just replaced element by a passenger. And again, 
a counter is a queue. So I have typed that. So in order not to modify any of these functions of the ADT queue, so I have used a type def to say that a counter is nothing else than a queue. So what we need to write is to add a passenger and to serve a passenger. Let's write the most easiest one. So when we want to serve a passenger, we have a counter. So counter is about a queue and we have a pointer. Since we need to modify the, the queue, we need to remove the front element. And this passenger is about a pointer to the passenger of the front element. And is to say that if we can serve or not because the queue could be empty so if the queue is empty there is nothing we can do so here counter so we return zero otherwise we take the front element the front so it takes a normal queue so it's the reference counter and then we need this one passenger to serve because it's already a pointer and then we the queue counter so it takes a pointer and counter is a pointer and i will return one so this one is the easiest so it's easy let's move to the add passenger so again let's me let me repeat so uh, i have closed it okay no problem so whenever adding a passenger i will add it according to the his type not directly i will add him to the rear of the uh, queue so what we will do, so again we have here a counter uh, the reference uh, pointer because we we need to modify the queue, we need to add uh, elements to the queue, it's RP and time it's the person, you can pass here a person, uh, a passenger if you want that. And, and if, we, if we can add it or not, so let's start, so if the queue is full, of course I cannot add a passenger. If not, I need to insert the uh, passenger into uh, uh, into the sort of the queue and the kind of a sort of the queue. So what I should do, I will try to look for the front element until I reach an element which is different than H. So in this queue, the elements are sorted according to the type, to whether H or A. So I will loop over the element until I found the element which is different than H. So here A. So what I will do now, I will enqueue the element and then enqueue the rest of the element. So for that, I, I would use an auxiliary uh, queue. So you can either define it as a counter or a queue. So it's up to you. So auxiliary aux equal create a queue. So why, why, why do we need an auxiliary queue? Because we need to dequeue the edge element and enqueue it in the auxiliary and then enqueue the new element and then continue in queuing the rest of the original queue and then we will move all the elements into the original queue so we need an element of course element e so here i don't like this because we are working in c so we declare and then initialize on a new line so as long as we have elements so as long as we have elements in the uh, queue and address of what I should do so I will dequeue and I will check if it's H or not H so if uh, passenger so E dot type equal equal to H I will add otherwise let's see if it's equal to A so if the if I reach the type of element equal to A and the type of the person that I want to add is H, it means that I have reached the first element of the queue where it's A. So here we have type equal to A. So what I will do here is that I will enqueue the in the auxiliary uh, queue the element E of course because E is of type uh, A so here we should not uh, push NQA I should push the NQ uh, this one so this one is equal to P and type and again I should uh, cast this to a type of passenger so we have already covered this otherwise you need to create a passenger P and create the type and then add the element so 
the other solution I will write it and then uh, erase it so we define a passenger P for example uh, we have already a variable P so pass equal uh, P and type and then we use here pass instead of all this we use pass however I will not stick to the solution so it's better, better to do that so let's repeat we have so we have looped over the original queue we have dequeued each element of the queue and we have uh, so here so if it's the uh, element in the queue is equal to a and the type of the adding uh, adding element is h not not uh, not uh, a so it's we need to, to add h so I will enqueue the newest uh, person and in all cases I will enqueue the uh, person in the EQ so address box and here e so in all cases I will be enqueuing all the elements from the counter to uh, aux however uh, one time so here we have a problem we need to do it just for one time so whenever I reach the first a type in the queue I need to enqueue this person however I should do it once so I will I will use a boolean in it and add it so we have first added equal to false so for first I will not add the person and when I add this person because I need to add it just once so added equal to one I will put here so let's put it first so if added equal equal to zero and so if I never added if I didn't add yet this person and have encountered uh, the first element a in the uh, queue I will add this person and then continue normally so here when I finish the while loop it means that I have added the uh, person if it is of type h this new person I will add it so after the h ones and if it's of type a I will add it at, at the last so uh, let's see so I need to add it at the last so let's check so if added equal to zero it means that I didn't add the element and it means that it's a, a, a person or passenger of type A so I didn't enter here never so I never enqueued the new person so I need to enqueue it so what I will do I can enqueue it in the auxiliary or can I can enqueue it in the counter one so I will do that later so I will enqueue it directly into so I'll en enqueue encounter the uh, this passenger However, before that, I will move all the elements from uh, the auxiliary and enqueue it back into uh, the counter. So as long as we have a front aux address of E, I will dequeue uh, aux and I will enqueue in uh, counter E. So this is it this is for the and of course return one at the end for the function so let me repeat so first what we have done so the the serving passenger is very easy so we have uh, a, a sort of the queue somehow sort the queue so we have h the type h at the first and then followed by the a ones so the, the, the difficult part is to write the add passenger so if the queue is full so if there's a full person full the queue is full so i cannot add passengers however i will loop over the uh, of uh, the counter the original queue and I will enqueue all the elements in the auxiliary queue however if I encounter uh, if the person is of type H so I need to find the first A person so when I f um, look and find the first A person in the original queue I need to enqueue this H person because I need to put to enqueue this person behind the persons having the type H so at the end when I finish this, I enqueue all the original element and the edge element. However, if the person is of type A, uh, I will not enqueue it here because the enqueuing of the new element is conditioned by the type edge. So after finishing that, I will add the original one if it's not added. So if it's of type A. So I can either place that before 
before the while loop and then add this to the auxiliary and then move all the elements or I can do that it's the same so let's run the problem and see if we have some errors so too bad so let's uh, let's play somehow and add more passengers so let's say that we have uh, a an edge here more edge so a b c d e let's keep it a and say f equal to h so f h so let's see what will happen so basically we need we need to see here a c f and then c d e So we have uh, the output is A, C, F, right, and then B, uh, D, E, which is uh, correct. So here we are serving these elements uh, one at a time. So this is for the uh, part A. So in part B, we have, <clears throat> so uh, the company has changed the way it uh, serves its passengers. So we have now a new uh, type of person, which are B for business. So we have H for handicaps and pregnant, B for business, and A for others. So first, they need to serve the H. So if there's a person handicapped, they need to serve the H one. And then they need to serve uh, one passenger from the B, then one passenger from the A. So one B, one A. And if we have H, H have the priority, so they need to uh, uh, do it uh, to serve them first. So how can we solve this? So we will try to uh, use three queues, one for H, one for B, one for A. And if one arrives, so in, in order to, so passenger is the same one as before, counter is about three queues. To add a passenger, we will add it depending on the its type. So if it's H, we'll add it to the H queue. If it's B, to the B queue. If A, for the A queue. However, for serving passenger is a bit tricky here. So whenever I have a, a, a queue, so I have a counter, so I will check the H uh, queue. So if it's uh, not empty, I will dequeue one from this queue and the life is easy. However, if the queue of H is empty, I need to, to uh, dequeue one from B, one from A. However, serving a passenger, it serves just one passenger at a time. So what happens if I just have uh, B and A uh, person in uh, both queues? So 
one time when I'm calling one time serve passenger I need to uh, serve to DQ one element from the uh, B queue however the second time I need to remember that I have already DQ'd one element from B so now I need to enqueue one element from A so this is a bit tricky so we need to keep in mind so from call to call I need to keep in mind the uh, type of the last uh, DQ'd person so for that the serving passenger will take an extra parameter uh, to indicate what's the last type of person that was uh, DQ'd from the queue so for that I check if the last person was a B now I need to DQ an A and if the last person was an A I will DQ a B and of course at each time I do this I need to check if a newly person of type H arrived so let me so this is the output uh, this is an example here I have wrote so we have multiple persons so of course the H1 will be searched first however then 1B 1A 1B 1A so let's go up and see that the, the queue is already the same the passenger is already the same however for the counter it's about three queues one queue for the H person one queue for the B person and one queue for the A person so for that I need to create a, a method to create the counter so creating a counter is just uh, initializing the queue to an empty queue so we have three empty queues and let's write add passenger and uh, serve passenger so adding passenger it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not that uh, difficult so we have a pointer to a counter because we need to modify the structure containing three types of uh, uh, pointers and we have a pointer to a uh, uh, passenger here so uh, this is served so here we have a char p and a char type for the uh, passenger to be added so we will check so if the type of person is uh, a so if, if any of these pairs of this so if the type of uh, is H and and the Q is full is full Q of counter arrow uh, it's called type H so if I want to add a person and its Q is full or I want to add a person of type B and its Q is full or if I want to add a person of type A and its Q is full, I will return 0. So here A, A. So of course I will return 0 since there is no room for that person in its corresponding Q. Now it's easy. So if the type, so here there's place. If there's if the type is H, I will add it to the uh, Q uh, H. So address counter arrow type H, and we need to add the passenger. So here we cast we cast and. So we have P and type here. So this is else. Else. So if the type is B, I will add it to B. And if the type is A, I will add it to A. So else. No need to do an, an if uh, also. So it's an A here. So I will add it to the type A and I will return norm. So it's easy. So this is for the uh, adding passenger. So this the first one just to check that the corresponding queue uh, is uh, is uh, is not full. So if it's full, I will not add the elements. Otherwise, I will add it to the corresponding queue. To serve the passenger, so here we have a counter. We have a passenger since we need to add to 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 return the element. So in to, to, to check if I can serve or not and last this is the trick here is that to is this is the type of the last uh, dequeued uh, passenger so it's important because when we are dequeuing from B and A so we need to alternate so we need to keep in mind what's the last element so for that in the test function the main function <clears throat> first I have started with H so here the last counter type I have started from H and then with each 
preserving passenger with, with each dequeuing I will modify the <coughs> last time so in order to uh, serve a passenger so I need to uh, check that at least I have one passenger so if uh, all the queues are empty it means that I cannot uh, serve any passenger so if empty queue for uh, counter arrow type edge and so if the three queues are empty it means that I cannot serve any passenger counter arrow so counter here is a small c type type b and if the empty queue for type uh, a it means I cannot I cannot okay type a there's I cannot uh, serve any passenger so here at least one of the queues is uh, is uh, is not empty so first I need to check if there's one in edge so it doesn't care what's the last uh, what the last uh, uh, type of person the DQ so I need to check if there's a an element in the uh, counter arrow uh, type edge uh, queue so here we need an element so let's say element or we can declare it as a passenger so it's up to you so let's say element E because we are used to that so we have counter so let me check so address of uh, E so we will so if there's a front element I'll dequeue it directly from address of counter arrow uh, type edge so and then okay in the passenger to serve it will be equal to uh, E so here we need to use pointer So else, else it means that here uh, the edge is empty, so the edge is empty, so we need to check, uh, uh, so the last one was edge, for example, and uh, to see if it's now the term of B. So let's uh, write it like that, so if the last time was edge, so equal equal to edge or last time was uh, a so it's now turn for b so now we are checking the b uh, the b type so if the last time the last the uh, uh, dequeued person was an edge so now it's the term of b or if the last one was a so again it's the uh, term for b so i will check if there's elements in b because if there is no elements in b there is no need to check so if so it's not empty so if there's a front, it's better. Counter arrow uh, type B. So if there's a front element, at let's say address of uh, E. So I will dequeue it in case there's one from address of counter arrow type uh, B. So this is for uh, the part and of course maybe I can maybe there's no elements in A they're just business person so in case I can serve I will serve all the B first so if it's that or is empty uh, Q A it means that there is no person in A so I will keep serving passenger of passengers of type B so the last uh, the passengers to serve would be equal to uh, E here and the last one would be equal to passenger of type B
So let me repeat here, it's the tricky. So here we have taken the accounts where uh, we are serving an element V. So we have two cases. So either we have three cases. Either the last time, the last the queued person was of type H, and of course there's one element in the BQ, so I will serve it, or the last person the queued was of type A, so now it's turn, turn of B, so I need to check if there's one person, or uh, none of these, so there's no H, of course, and there's no elements in A, so of course I will serve a passenger from B. So else it means that now I need to serve a passenger from uh, A, so I need to check just that there's a, a front, uh, that there's persons, passengers in the uh, AQ, so we check if there's a front A, so, and I will dequeue it in case there's one. There are too, ma mo too many brackets here, so it's really difficult to follow. So, in that case, what I should do is that I will save the passenger, so passenger will be equal to E, and the last person would be, would be equal to A, and at the end, I will return one to say that everything was okay. So, let me repeat quickly. So, in this serving passenger, we have used three queues. So, we have checked first there is at least one person. If there is no passengers in any of these queues, I will return zero. So, first, I need to check if there is a person in H. So, if it's in H, I will serve the passenger and everything will be normal. So, however, you can place here if you want to, to just be uh, more precise that the last time we have uh, the type of the last person is of type H. So it's more clean here. So then what should we do? We will move to check the cases where we can serve a person of, uh, of type B. So if the last time, so if we didn't enter here, we need to either serve B or A. So if, we, if the last time was H and we have an element in B, I will serve the passenger from B. If the last time was A, so I, again, I will check if there's a B. However, if uh, the last time was H and the last time was was A and there is no elements in the uh, in B and if there's uh, no elements in A, so of course I will serve an element from B. Otherwise, I will try to serve an element from A. So let's run and check if there's if this is correct. Maybe we have some errors. Okay, here we have else. We have written SL. Let's run. So in the we have too many bracket brackets. So here counter. This is for DQ, and this is for F, and this one for F. So we need to have one more bracket here. Run. So yes, we have served the first two H's and then B one A one B one A. So let me add a more uh, more A. Uh, let's say if I have more B at the end, so it will arrive a time where we were serving just B's at the end. So there's two uh, J and H be at the end so in order to do that uh, you should all, uh, also check so we didn't check here in uh, in uh, the part if and else so we cannot just uh, check the empty q is a so we need to check also if there's uh, an element in b so i cannot serve b if i didn't check if there's an element in b so this is for the uh, this exercise it's a bit tricky i know uh, and it's uh, it's like uh, three or four stars or three stars so again, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to write to me or we can move, meet on Zoom whenever uh, it's possible on Wednesday. So uh, thanks again for watching and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit the bell icon to receive all the notifications. And again, thanks for watching.